What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another training guide. Today we are looking at the fans' choice young stars, Donnarumma, who, in my opinion, is one of the best goalkeepers in the game, right? Now, there has been previous or there have been previous versions of Donna released um, and they're all kind of similar right if you wanted to get the best version of him or if you have the best version you already will probably have the Italian one which is here okay so this Italian pack is or this was part of the Italian pack uh, selection I think there was 12 players that you could open absolute phenomenal keeper right and if you look at him on a comparison when they're both at level one this guy's got 21 levels this guy's got 20 levels he's got a better overall rating of one that brings him to 86 as a starting rating and this guy the new one the young stars is at 85 already okay but their stats are pretty much identical this italian pack has got one extra level as we said to go from compared to 20 to 21 but he's also got plus one in awareness catching um or parrying and reach okay but he's got minus one in reflexes so i think that they are extremely similar cards right especially with how you train them up okay so if you are looking to get this card or you did get this card here um as a 96 rated potentially of donnarumma i definitely think there is a key uh not a trick but there's a key way of training him up because if you do if you do spin him um obviously they will make changes to the gameplay you would imagine with eFootball 2024 but contract situation wise you will be able to have this done for the next 300 days, which will probably be like a full year and a bit uh, of eFootball 2024 with how they're going to probably bring over the contracts and how they'll, um, you know, players that are still in contract, you'll continue to be able to play with them, okay? So you might be due an upgrade on your squad if you bought Donna or you had a goalkeeper. Now, we are leaving off Epics and Legends as well. Um because they're kind of a separate uh, a separate video, right? We can touch on the likes of Oliver Kahn or Schmeichel or somebody like that. But for this, I think Donnarumma definitely to me is 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 one of the best keepers i think donna's standard card is the best standard goalkeeper card in the game and then you've got a couple of others like courtois and Ablak that kind of push him but it is personal preference as we'll show you in a second right so the first thing to notice about donna rummel that's why i think he's so good is because of that goalkeeper reflexes skill and the fact that he's got unwavering form he's also got long throw which is a hugely underrated player skill for a goalkeeper to have low punt is is equally as important i would say but i would throw a lot of balls out to my wingers to start attacks or else i would just be able to kind of start breaks as soon as you get the ball from a save from a manual goalkeeper um and you're just able to kind of like get those counter attacks going inst instantly right so that is a must have for me with the way that i play okay so for the likes of oblak he does have long throw but he doesn't have low punt and the likes of courtois doesn't have uh, low punt either so donnarumma has the two um that i would like and he also has penalty savers so low punt and long throw are my two favorite ones i don't really use high punt unless i'm passing it to collar or somebody like that it's not as big of an issue okay so when you are training him up i do think there are a couple of ways to train him up now i want to show you here a couple of little bits and pieces with donnarumma right we're going to break down these gameplay uh clips here right so the first one that you're going to see is most of the chances that you get against you when you are conceding goals okay is going to come from people catching you on the break getting you caught in possession or else you know hitting you on the break right hitting you on the break from you make a mistake or you try you try counter and it's a game of counters you get caught in possession you get caught you know kind of square at the back and there's a gap through the middle if you don't have your team set up and even if everything is set up tactically formational wise you're going to have you know chances like this being created at all times unless you can really concentrate if you're coming up against a good player they will carve out chances because the game encourages attack and play and the ai do switch off sometimes so you can see here donnarumma makes himself big he's up against one of the best finishers in the game the game is in the melting pot this is just a clip from one of my games in my uh, my dream team and you know it's another fine save that you usually see from the top class goalkeepers the manual save yes that does come into it obviously but here again there's another alternative uh, save here obviously with the manual save it's all about reflexes and all about when you switch to the player obviously you know connection and all that comes into it with how responsive the player switching is but when you switch to the player how aware he is to the ball so that's going to factor into how we're going to train him up and it is the one tiny little negative i have on this card comp compared to other cards um that are in the sa same kind of boat as him okay um so that's just a couple of clips there but if you are training up donnarumma here as we see on eFootball db 
he does have 20 levels and we're going to pop in one into aerial strength to get his jump up to 70, 79 instead of 78 that's not a big uh, deal there to be honest with you but we're going to pop 10 into goalkeeper one stat goalkeeper two is going to get four and then nine into the goalkeeper three so this is the key one this is kind of a personal choice as well i would say like if you wanted to right i don't think you need much jump with donna okay um if you want to just keep that at like literally at 78 um you're going to get the boost there and take one down for the reflexes the catching is kind of a key one that they've done now i know a few of my uh uh, viewers on live stream have said that catching is a key one i still think that reflexes is the biggest uh, stat so if you've got your goalkeeper reflexes at 93 and you get the the, the boost with the player form arrow you're going to have that into the 95 range zone and i think that's the key one one thing is since the update they have made a couple of changes to catching and goalkeeper awareness awareness is extremely um you know valuable as well to have like if you look at the likes of oblack He's got three stats that, with the player form boost, go into the 90s. So you've got awareness, catching, and then, of course, you do have the reflexes. But his reflexes is a good bit lower. Courtois, he's got reflexes. That is going to be 90. The rest of his stats are going to be staying into the 80 zone, okay? Now, obviously, these cards don't come into it. Like, the Belgian pack, Courtois is better. Um, you've also got this pack of him here that was released. You've got this one. You've got a lot of different versions of different players that you can see here, like the Derby Day ones or all that. And then, of course, you also have the likes of Oliver Cannon's stuff like that but i think that this donnarumma if you are training him up you do need to max out his reflexes that is something that i would definitely encourage don't worry too much about the overall rating of 95 or 96 i mean that is only because you don't have these um these stats you know balanced the way that you should balance them if you want to get the maxed version of this card um which is you know a 96 but you're only going to have 92 in the reflexes there and 83 awareness so i would much prefer to have a 95 rated version of him and get that um get that awareness up a little bit more and leave the rest of the stats down if you wanted to go that route i mean 85 for awareness is a must-have for me in my opinion um so that is how i would probably train him there even though he's only got a lower uh, 95 overall so yeah as i said lads don't be too focused i will be doing a video tomorrow on um on the training guy or on another training guy but i'll also be doing a video on not focusing on the player's overall rating because i think a lot of people are still making issues and still make are still having issues and still making mistakes and what's going to happen is when they actually get rid of the training guy uh reset the training progression reset and it's going to start costing money that's going that's when it's going to really hit you where it hurts right so yeah for for the young stars as you see here i have actually spun um all of these um we've spun four and we've got the four here kunde donna and leao and martinelli so these are the remaining guys that we have um before it's it's over um but yeah donnarumma for me is definitely one of the picks let me know if you got him let me know there is a debate whether courtois or Oblak is better or summer is another one the bayern munich goalkeeper um but let me know what you think i'm still team donna i think he saved me more often than not i think he's a beast every time i get to division one he is a big big performer for me so let me know what you think are you team donna Oblak, courtois summer or somebody else and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll talk to you in a bit, lads. Don't forget to subscribe and peace.